the next part we're going to talk about is theme. And theme, she goes into a discussion about theme. And part of it's emphasizing what needs to be emphasized. It repeats throughout the story. Some examples would be Star Wars, anger and hate, and how they changed people. And she goes on in another part, and she says another example for Star Wars would be finding one's place in the Wizard of Oz, believing in yourself, and self-sufficiency. And the Avatar, man versus nature. And she makes a very good comment in this. She says the hero has to change on a core level in order to become more than he was at the start of his ordinary world. And theme ties things together. Her definition in layman's terms is a recurring idea, a motif. A repeated thought or idea throughout your book. The theme is the music that all characters dance to. That's our one. So some popular themes are ambition, jealousy, beauty, loneliness, betrayal, love, courage, loyalty, duty, perseverance, fear, prejudice, freedom, suffering, happiness, truth, justice, revenge. We're going to follow her directions. These are the cards that are left after I've done all my drawings. I'm concentrating on my story, witchy business, Irish, and the hunters. Okay, so I'm going to cut the cards in three. Draw the first card, the Knight of Wands. All right, break the story down into one sentence for each card. Here's an example. Okay, now I got to draw my other two cards. A lot of wands here. I have the six of pentacles and the one of wands. I'm going to come back. I drew for the theme of the novel, I drew the knight of wands. I drew the six of pentacles and I drew the ace of wands. We're going to go to the next part. I wrote this down. So I'm just going to be reading from here. Now the Knight of Wands is representative of a championing of ideas. Championing? Championship? Championing? That's a mouthful. Of ideas and philosophical beliefs. It's a pursuit of the idea. It's a true commitment and he is usually a message bearer. So the Six of Pentacles is a sense of justice, of charity, equality, fairness. It's the cyclical nature of life. It's generosity. It's share what you have with someone who needs it. And the Ace of Wands is new opportunities, movement, travel, new ideas through new people and places, expand one's horizons, action-oriented undertaking. It's an opportunity presented, what you do with it. It's up to you to act upon it. It's a new beginning. It's the realm of accomplishments. It's optimistic and it's bold. These are the sentences that I created, the bit that I did based on these. Irish has committed herself to living in the mundane world, away from her family and the witch business, because she's afraid of losing anyone else that she loves. Now this is a false sense of security and safety, and she realizes that when she receives a call about her grandmother's murder, and the summons from the coven, which would be the Knight of Wands. Heartbroken and grieving over her grandmother's death, and then after finding out that her girlfriend's cheating on her, finding her, she finally agrees, but only because she's seeking justice for her grandmother's death. She accepts the mentor's help, along with the help of her family and friends, in defeating the hunters. And that's where the charity and the generosity 
and the Six of Pentacles comes in. I think. Well, you know. She learns while, as Iris and her allies travel towards the Society of Hunters, Iris learns and trains and meets with new people along the way. Um, that's the travel. And um, she meets with her ancestor. She's betrayed by her ally. She's saved by the enemy who turns ally. She also meets with her grandmother. And all of these incidences with these people give her the means and opportunity to fulfill her destiny and to accomplish her goals. Now, the themes that I got from so far, justice, higher self, self-acceptance, courage, duty, fear, believing in yourself, a higher purpose, destiny, helping others, charity, generosity, revenge, man versus himself. Some of these are probably not really relevant. Some of them are, but those were the ones that I came up with. So I'm going to go do some more work. And I will, before I go though, I'm going to do a little bit of video about what I've been doing in my new notebook for Maya. Because this is actually for my novel for NaNoWriMo's. Hold on one second. So I chose to use the brown leather case for my next year's Hobonichi. It's also an A5. And I have uh, the pencil case that matches this. I had this handmade. This is um, the cover for my writing notebook. This is the ink, the antique copper ink that Maya gave me. Isn't that pretty? And then this is the other pen with the Heart of Darkness ink. So I have been busy. Can I just say how much I absolutely love, love, love this book and my pen and yes, this paper. This is the same paper that's in the Hobonichi. It's the Tomoho River paper and I absolutely love it. I love it. So as you can see, I put, there's my information. That's my website and then my email. And Amaya already had the typewriter there. She had written. I just put a post-it note with the little typewriters to match the typewriter stamp. I have one of those. Mine's a little bit different. And it matches my notebook, y'all. So that's it for me. I'm going to go finish some outlining. and have some more work to do in this and some more work to do in general. I just ordered my winner's t-shirt for NaNoWriMo and I ordered myself a writer's mug, but not the one from NaNoWriMo. It's $10 for the mug from NaNoWriMo. And it's ten dollars for plus for shipping and handling. I'm not paying ten dollars to have a mug shipped. And I understand that NaNoWriMo is sort of kind of for like a nonprofit. Instead of getting an eleven ounce mug, I ordered a fifteen ounce mug with a typewriter on it from Cafe Press. And I also ordered my daughter a unicorn mug for her birthday. Her birthday was last week, but she was out of town. And I asked her what she wanted what she wanted she wouldn't tell me so while I was online searching for my writer mug to order because I didn't want to pay twenty three dollars for a mug I went ahead and found while I was looking I found a I'm a fucking unicorn mug and it changes colors and my daughter loves unicorns and I ordered it for her birthday and um, so I'm super excited because that's gonna come in and um, along with my mug and yeah, so that's what I did. I ordered a, a, a mug, a 15 ounce mug, and that's going to be my NaNoWriMo, my writer mug. I have the Burgess Taylor mug with the Snoopy typing on it, but it's a small, it's a regular size. But see, it's a small mug. So I have it on my bookshelf, along with the rest of my Snoopy stuff. So while I have you here, I'm going to do a little bit of this because 
I'm still working on some of this stuff. I have a pile of clothes that I need to go through. It's my sweater and my purse along with the writer's Bible on the, the click clack couch. My, I changed the pictures around so that the squares were aesthetically pleasing. The shelves. My inspiration board for just personal inspiration. My authentic Mexican sombrero and my witchy scarf bookcases. And this, I am going to take the stuff off of here and about to start putting inspiration for my novel up here. Um, as you can see, I've still got to get rid of the TV. It's my husband's amps and stuff and the other comforter that I've got to fold. I've got to put it in the closet. So you guys kind of get an idea. Those are regular batteries. I will not get any more of these for my camera. The first set's from yesterday. The second set's from today. They go through. I, I, I just, I can't deal. They're not lasting very long. I have books over there. I have, I need to, to organize this a little better. That's all my craft stuff, y'all. Hello. Hello. And hanging right there is the dress I wore in my cousin's wedding. It needs to be put up. I have some more work to do. But it's getting there. It's getting there. And this. This is October. This weekend I'll be changing it for November. For NaNoWriMo. We have. Oh y'all we have just a tiny bit over a week. Just a tiny bit over a week. I am super excited. I am pumped. I am the outlines coming together really well. I still have some stuff to do, which is fine because I have a week left and I have a little bit of shopping to do. So I'm going to go finish some outlining. Happy NaNoWriMo prep and I'll see you soon. Bye.